We were in quite a privileged position at Haas and Science because, as, as I've already said, you know Scott's Scott's position on this has been clear from the outset. Um, even when he was running Analex before forming Haas and Science, it's almost it's this enlightened self-interest is the way I look at it. You know, he created an approach which was transparent from the get-go, and it's one of the tenets of the agency. So transparency for us obviously touches programmatic, which is the touchstone issue in the industry, but it also um, means that we are transparent with code that we build, for example. So the code we build for our, um, our models are available to our clients in Bitbucket and they can see into that. They can obviously see into the complete media supply chain as well and with the right to audit. So when we talk about transparency, it's very holistic for us at Hearts and Science. So it feels a, we have a, 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 an advantage in that sense um, because others have to, have to move forward into that space. Managing it for clients, I guess, is the main issue for us in the UK. So the education of the client has improved um, in that they want to know where the inventory is appearing. So there's a lot more private marketplace dealing going on now. There's a lot which, on a personal level, um, I'm a big fan of supporting the media, a strong media ecosystem. As a planner, um, it starts to um, challenge some of the things that are great about programmatic like defining audiences behaviorally and then activating those audiences wherever they appear so there's that constant tension between context and audience um, which is can could be derailed by the whole debate about what's happening in terms of inventory inventory needs to be cleared up that's a table stake but let's not have that derail the potential and the ambition, if you like, that you can fulfil through programmatic. We're very new, we're very fresh. Um, it, we started out with a kind of um, personalisation uh, in a world of addressability, one-to-one -one communications between brands and people that affect better outcomes. But as, as we've worked through uh, the evolution of the agency, it's become more and more actually about agility and the engineering mindset. So yes, it's about personalization, but also, and perhaps potentially more than that, it's about non-rigid processes to answer and solve problems. Uh, so that's been my discovery, if you like, in the time that I've been looking after the UK. So when I talk to clients, it's about what is it about your rigid structures, or your rigid processes, your rigid ways of looking at the consumer or the business opportunity are potentially holding you back from growth, whether that's, I don't know, business growth or growth in understanding of the consumer or, or even growth in the understanding of the way your product is consumed or the way your competitors are behaving. So um, that's, that's kind of where we're moving to now, um, the sort of flexibility of approach and that's having some super interesting impact with our own staff in terms of how we train them and upskill them and get them thinking about agile ways of solving problems rather than rigid, rigid approaches and the same with the clients.